It's nine. Lewis is rushing in for the kill. The referee rushes, rushes the gloves from Bear. There's a left and a right to the jaw by Lewis. Bear goes back, a right to the jaw. Another right to the jaw and a right up the cut. And Bear pounds to the canvas. Two, three, he's reeling around, trying to get up. Four, five, six, seven, and it looks as though it's all over. He's trying to get up yet. He climbs to his feet, but the referee says no go. It's all over. A one-round knockout for Joe Lewis. And here's Phil Corum. Don will never see a more sensational round. It was short. But Bear showed all the game that's in the world, and he was still struggling to his feet, trying to get up along the rope after that savage bombardment. Three times down, two times for nine. The last time he was on his feet, here's the bell in the official announcement. Speed time, two minutes, 56 seconds of the first round. The winner by a knockout and still the heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Lewis. Joe's waked down out of his corner at us just now, and you'll be able to see these pictures of this fight in your favorite theater tomorrow. Although it was short, it was so sensational that uh, these pictures will be made tonight, and here's going to be a, an announcement over the public address system, system by Lewis. I'm trying to watch and talk at the same time, and it's hard to see what they're doing. They're working busily over Bear. He's still out over there. I wish I could tell you more about it. He took two counts for nine the last time he tried to come up and uh, did just get to his feet, but Frankie Fulham very uh, wisely stepped between them because he hit his head on the ring floor so hard with that 250 pounds. Now he's on his feet, and you'll hear a roar from the crowd, I'm sure. He's flicking his eyes, holding a towel up, and following Lewis around to uh, congratulate him. A good game, swell boy, Buddy Bear, and nobody could have done better. Here's Don Duffy with the champion, Joe Lewis. All right, Bill, Joe, our sponsors, Gillette, want to congratulate you. And for myself, I say, if you live to be 100, I don't think you'll ever hear an ovation like the crowd just gave you, Joe. Thank you. I think they were lovely. And I appreciate everything Mr. Wilkins said about me. How do you feel, Joe? Oh, I feel fine. Any present plans? No, no, not at all. So far, I won't know for a couple of days. All right, thank you very much, Joe Lewis, a great champion. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now, ladies and gentlemen,